man. Sleeping bees are the cutest, aren't they? Bam! Alley hoops, bringing the light. Let's look at the butt. Oh my god. I love it. Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome back to Grounded. I needed a break from exploring the Black Ant Hill uh, lab. I have actually explored it all and all the way to the boss fight and I realized I don't have weapons strong enough to kill the boss quickly. So I'm going to take my time upgrading my weapons a little bit more and so on. And in the meantime I thought I'm going to go back to solving the problem on how to get up and i just see an ant line over there i had no idea that they can come up onto the rim of the sandbox wow all right he's gone let's go up here to get a better look of the picnic table all right here we are so it took me a long time to find out how to get up there but when you come up here, you can actually see how you get up. You can see this shovel leaning on the picnic table, which is actually the way up. But the shovel doesn't lean on the picnic table at the beginning. It actually stands upright. So you have to go down there to the bottom of it, and there's a, a rock you can crack and actually blow up. And once you do that, the, the shovel falls over, and then it leans onto the picnic table so you can get up. So I have to correct myself, the shovel actually doesn't lead you up to the picnic table, it only leads you up to the picnic table bench. So that's where I am right now. In order to get to the picnic table, I have to craft some stairs. I have to be very creative here, and this actually took me quite a bit of time. Not this stairs, but I'm going to show you now how I got up. I tried all kinds of different ways how to get up there and there really isn't a way, not that I know of besides having to craft something. So I crafted stairs here and that was a little bit tricky because I am coming from underneath the table through a crack and I wasn't even sure if that's possible and it is possible but barely. So as you can see it sometimes takes a couple of tries jumping up just the right way to make it up, but it actually works. Here we go, and I'm up. Pretty cool, right? I am very proud of this because this was not easy, let me tell you. I mean, this is cool and all, but couldn't he have set up a couple baskets? At first I thought maybe we're not supposed to get up onto the picnic table because there may be nothing up here. But then uh, when I looked up, I saw a bunch of bees swarming and I saw some food and I got really curious. So I thought at least I want to try. So if you know of a better way to come up here, I'd be very curious to find out, even though I actually don't need it anymore, but others might. There's actually a lot going on up here. There is uh, quest items, there is loot, there's lots to do up here. So it's definitely worth it spending your time coming up here, however you do it. <laughs> and there's uh, two sites also that you possibly can get up from. There's two benches. I tried the other bench, but then it, it, it turned out it would have been a really long way for me to carry the grass. So I think what I did to me was the fastest way. And then there's a field station up here. Also something I that really puzzled me. I did not expect to run into a field station. And what I sure did not expect is this castle up here. Well, it's a play castle, but it's a pretty big maze and you find a lot of goodies in here. Rose, what is that? Some kind of Ant-Man? Well, what I really enjoy being up on this table is that you get finally get a really good look of the whole garden, which is something I could not do from any other point. You have like a 360 degree view and all of a sudden things look a little bit different. Well, at least they did for me. I'm like, that's not how I imagined this garden 
oh, I see now where things are, you know, it looks so different from the, the bottom because you're so tiny and the grass is always a lot taller than you that you, you can't really match it quite exactly what the garden looks like that you're in. But up here, you finally do see what it looks like. And then over here, there's a bunch of bees and there's actually something in the can, I believe, like another science bob as you can hear. But when I tried to get into the can, I got attacked by the bees. And I also realized that you, in order to get into the can, you have to almost kind of like build something there because it's kind of over the ledge, as you can see here. I don't see a way to, to jump in there without having to craft something to get over there. But anyway, there's also a honey pot, so obviously that's why there's a lot of bees. This is definitely a good spot to take out bees if you need that for crafting better weapons and stuff. But I don't find it that easy to take them out because they are super powerful and if you don't have a strong enough weapon it can be an issue. So far I've only managed to take out three and they were not here on the table, they were down on the bench. So I'm really glad I was able to finally come up on this table and see what's up here. I was really curious to find out and it's definitely worth it to come up here and even invest a lot of time in building something where it lets you actually explore this area. But again, uh, I may have missed something, an easier way to come up here, but I feel like it's always fun to craft and it's always fun to figure things out yourself then just like watch what others did and then just basically copy it. So you may have a much better way or even a much more fun way to get up there. I just wanted something that lets me come here again and again if I want to without a lot of struggle and this worked out well for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and i hope to see you next time take care bye bye